everybody, Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. There's more progress on the nightstand, which means it's time for another shop update. So last week when I left you guys, the base joinery was all done, but there was still a whole bunch of work left to do before I could glue it up. And that's what I started this week. So one of the first things I did was I laid out the lines on my feet for where I wanted my taper. Now I wanted a relatively subtle taper, nothing too strong. And once I had all those lines laid out, the next step was to, since I have eight legs, I made a tapering jig real quick. Using my layout lines, I was able to draw the shape of the leg on what would be the jig. Then I just glued my pieces up, shot some brad nails in to hold them down, screwed in a clamp, and I was off to the races at the table saw, and I was then able to use that to cut the tapers on all eight legs and all four sides of each leg, and that to me saves a ton of time. When I went over to the sander to clean those up, all I had to do was a little bit of work to get everything cleaned up. I started work on the risers after that by laying out the lines there, deciding what kind of a curve I wanted, and then with that, I headed over to the bandsaw and I removed most of the waste for the curve. And then at the sanding station, turned into a spindle sander, I sanded back to my lines. And that was pretty much it for all the major shaping in the base. Of course, I had to do just a little bit more and that was after I did all of my sanding. So the first thing I did was I sanded all of the straight parts. So the rails or aprons in the front, the risers, sanded all of those up to 220 grit. And then for the legs, I hand sanded those. I wanted to make sure that I was not gonna screw up the joint between the rails and the feet themselves. Created chamfers on my edges and then used some sandpaper to help round those over. Mortises for the risers to the rails here in the front, those are longer than what the number six domino gives you. That's a 40 millimeter in length domino. They don't sell stock that I could find pre-made for the long length so you can cut your own domino lengths. So I headed over to the jointer and I milled up my own stock to six millimeter, ripped it to width at the table saw, and I rounded over the edges of it at the router table. Then I could glue up the bases. I glued both up. I did sub-assemblies for each. So that's where this whole project stands right now. The next steps here are to start work on the drawer area. So there's gonna be two drawers here, five inches and three inches in height. And those are gonna have runners that are gonna hang off the sides that I've talked about before. So that's pretty much it. It's been a really good week in the shop. Um, I'm really happy with how this came out. I got this all finished off over the weekend. Uh, I spent the rest of this week though upstairs so far and I've been editing. I've got the first two chapters that I've shot of this project edited. Uh, I'll move on to the third chapter, which is actually the fourth in the whole project. The first is always the preview. And I'm just gonna keep chugging editing these as I'm doing the build so I can get all this up and uh, accessible to everybody who either has a yearly membership or those of you who just wanna buy the plans and the project individually. So as always, please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. It really, really helps. Subscribe if you're watching this, if you haven't subscribed before and you watch more stuff, hit that button. And you know what, hit that notification bell too so you know when I come out with videos. I know so many of us have a lot of subscriptions and it's hard to kind of weed through stuff, stuff, but if you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when I post a new video. Now, if you're watching this on Facebook, hit the share button, no, hit the like it on your timeline. <laughs> I don't know, share it on your timeline. Ah, I got myself off track here. If you're watching us on Facebook, share your timeline and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us there as well. And as always, always, have a great week in your shop.